Magical Kaleido with the power of Paleozoics today. Sword Soul leaps back into action, and of course, Tear White Swarm. Make sure you guys smash the living crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more OS content. Now this is uh, personally quite interesting to me that we have Magical Kaleido leaping into action out here to kind of showcase some interesting little ideas out here. But I mean, hey, this is an ability to make something during your opponent's turn and it's also an aqua monster. So, you know, totally awesome comes up a little bit more, I guess. Also, you know, th this whole deck is still using the exact same premise that it was kind of originally using out here, which is, you know, the soldier dragons get the mill, or through the special summon of the dragon maid, go ahead and start milling off trap cards. And you start to use the Paleozoic engine combined with everything else that you've got here to generate some advantage. Now, you're also gonna notice our favorite card in the whole deck is Balance of Judgment. Remember, this card mentions excess. It is one of my favorite cards in the game because Yu-Gi-Oh player, actually, no, this isn't the excess, this is the draw. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the deficit value card. Uh, we also have the Titan Sider down here is another option tree, and uh, this build brought Wabaku. I don't agree with Wabaku. I think Threatening Roar would be a better choice because that still means a Tenpai player can battle and still tear through your field, and you know, you're going to lose all of your monsters if you had any on the field. Which kind of puts you into a little bit worse of a position, so I, I don't really like that. Also, this build's playing Monster Gate, which is kind of hilarious to me. You know, you're able to to resolve this get through like a, a full scale dump here that's kind of interesting just a little idea that you can do here but once again hey if you've seen the paleo ideas that have been going around here if you've been wanting to test out some of these ideas you have a chance to actually do so out here and I, I think that's a step in the right direction for what you kind of want people to be at least attempting to mess around with in terms of your ratios interesting also this volcanic stuff down here for free board clears that's hilarious to me okay next up we have by far i think one of the this looks like something that you would see from a playtesting video for a Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro deck. And I'd be like, I have my entire side deck option tree down here, because that's that's kind of that's kind of what this feels like, actually. So, uh, once again, you're playing Sword Soul Protos back in your deck. Fantastic helper. This card is meant to make sure that you are going to get the job done relatively easily. And, you know, we love to see it. But then you're going to look at your hand trap ratios here, and you're going to be like... Huh, what are we, one droll, one veiler, the one moonlit, two nuns, and uh, two nibirus? But for some reason, we're just doing one copy of Crossout Designator. Uh, I, I don't really have much words for your spread of uh, side deck choices down here. But also down here, you know, you have a shifter. I don't really feel like a shifter is an inconvenience for this deck, but all right. But you've also got, like, Grand Manju showing up. What in the world are you doing here? Also, see, we are side decking the, the Psyche Gen Punishers, and this build is even going so far as to bring in the Drago Masters of the Tenyi to try to have this extra push for your opponent so that you know you can do things. Remember, this can't destroy by battle with effect monsters. If you control no other effect monsters, you can destroy effect monsters your opponent controls up to the number of non-effect monsters you control or in your graveyard. Yeah, this is a stupid little free board wipe. Um, I really wish this was a quick effect. Could you imagine if you could board nuke your opponent with Drago Masters as an actual quick effect? That'd be great. Also, you know, we have another cross on the side deck. We, this was also a 14 card side deck. So, you know, you could put the other cross out in here and have it be stable. But this got my attention because the ratios are very, very weird, very, very left field. But, you know, you can accomplish quite a lot of things out here and actually have fun with it. Okay. Woo. Tier elements. Um, what? what uh, huh? Uh, huh? Especially some elaborate. Uh, uh, why are, are we just playing this? If you control a level eight fiend monster, you can target a card your opponent controls and return it to the hand. Is that it, it, we just strictly playing big welcome labyrinth here? As a if you control a level eight or higher fiend monster, you can target a card your opponent controls, return that card to the hand instead. That's uh, that's pretty insane. 
I have not really considered this as a tech choice out here for something like this, but you know, getting to a level 8 shouldn't necessarily be that hard for this deck to kind of accomplish, especially, you know, a level 8 fiend monster. You know, you kind of take your pick that, well, these don't count. Um, interesting. Um, in terms of the rest of your developments, hey, you know what? Uh, tier stuff is going to be milling your deck. You're going to be setting up some interesting stuff. Uh, seeing Raiden showing up out here as the mainstay for this deck, I mean, it, it's your committed normal summon. You're using it to mill two. Uh, if you have to do anything else with this, uh, I mean, okay. You also have the double Reno, but I, I feel like this doesn't really matter all that much, to say the least. You do have the one grief in here, okay. Uh, we we're also side decking the Mana DM reframing down here. You've kind of noticed some people have been looking at uh, Vices Synchro, and they've been trying out more ideas with this, because reframing's been coming up a little bit more out here. Uh, let's call it what it is. I mean, it's it's a free in-house searchable negate. You may as well take advantage of this. I also see we are playing App Cologne with, of course, the Triple Shadow Fusions. So yeah, I, I too love having reverse starters available to us to be able to just kind of plow through your opponent and have your opponent stare at you and go, um... Why? Why are we? Why are we doing this? Like, to to what ends is is this? Mm hmm. Yeah. It's this is uh, this is some cute stuff. I I will give them some credit here. All right. Ooh. Wow. This takes me back. You remember when we were all super excited out here for the chance to see Melodious coming back into the spotlight? You know, it was. We were all just super happy just to have this be here but unfortunately times have changed a little bit and it's been uh, not performing quite up to the level that I, I think we want to see this actually sticking around here I do see good old Ostinato still maximizing we're doing the one concerto you do have the two built-in talents but unfortunately Tam Tam has been permanently cut from the main deck. Uh, you're better off having Tam Tam be available in the side deck just so that, you know, if you need to have access to it for the burn damage you can bring. I did like the poly interactions with this. It's, it's really cute for what you were trying to do, but most of the time you're just better off not even worrying about this. You need your deck to be as optimized as possible. Right now it's kind of, you know, why a lot of people looked at the Dominus Purge and as well, we're getting impulse soon, which changes this deck dramatically. But you know, you have the Herald of Orange Lights to kind of help you out here. Um, so many consistent pieces to the deck, but you know, all of it just kind of ends up. You know, you're trying to get to the boss monster inconveniences. You know, you need the Etoile here to be a huge inconveniencing bounce for your opponent, which it does end up being like that's not a problem whatsoever. Uh, and then of course, I love the fact you also get the protect uh, the protector of agents because it's two fairy monsters. Guess what your whole deck is. It's also really sad that this deck fell off very hard because I, I do really think that this deck is a very competitive monster. There There are so many cool things that you're able to do with this deck that if your opponent is not prepared for this, you just get free resources generated. Like, it, it's so free. Now we have a branded list for you. Wow. You know, <laughs> back to the age-old debate right now of what's the best branded list to be bringing to the table you know what do we need to be messing around with i mean hi gimmick puppet how are you i do see we are main decking the dark world no more it's basically the board breaker stuff all right you want to be seeing these cards to be putting that pressure on your opponent so you can just kind of win the game like same thing out here with the droplets you are going full steam ahead with these board breaker cards your opponent is going to look at you and go oh yeah, yeah, I really can't do anything about that, Duelist. Like, carry on. I also do see back here, we are playing Yield Thrust, uh, toggle into anything you need, uh, Fusion Deployment, everything the standard stuff for this. A uh, little bit out of the ordinary here. You see we have the bl brightest Blazing Branded King. Okay, another search target. We're able to board into the triple crossouts to punish the opponent. And, of course, we are playing the Shadal Dragon. That's kind of cute. And, of course, the Borlode Furious Dragon getting a showcase down here of why this card is a very, very cute thing. Also, the free Phantasmay Fodder. Who doesn't love drawing free cards? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I absolutely love free resources out here. So that is everything that we have for for you today um, we're kind of bouncing around in a really weird place right now for the game but i think once things get settled in we'll we'll, we'll get the chance to see some very interesting things on the side for this so what do you guys think about today's decks please leave a comment down below tell me what you guys think and remember 
just because an idea might get hit on a future list doesn't mean that we can't enjoy it while we actually have it. You guys have a good rest of your day, all right? Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.